Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net and this is the first of several solution videos for the challenge I call the Adaptive, Adeptly Adaptive Challenge. Whew. All right, so let's go ahead and get started by creating a new project. I'm also going to turn off the webcam here so we can focus on just the screen. And I'm going to call this fake news. You can call it whatever you like to. And so in this first video, all we're going to do is set up the project and get the main page.xaml kind of laid out. And uh, the first thing I want to do is open up the assets from the previous lesson. I'm going to copy uh, the food and financial PNGs into the assets folder. So I'm just going to drag and drop them into assets. Great. And while I'm here in the solution explorer, I'm actually going to open up the instructions.txt and I will keep those around and available and let me pull this back out here also since we're open up in the app.xaml.cs I'm going to remove the frame counter and then I'm going to open up the main page.xaml and I know that I'm going to create two areas a top area that will contain uh, the the uh, the search box and the title of the current um, page that we're on and then in the uh, second row of the grid we're going to add a split view with the pane and the content area the content area will then contain a grid view ultimately with all of our of all of our news items okay so uh, let's go uh, grid dot row definitions set this one auto and the second one will be just star sizing so in the top row what we'll do is just add actually a relative panel and I'm gonna create first of all a button that'll be used for our hamburger button the text block which will be used for the um, for that title, that bold title, and then I'm going to use an auto suggest box for the search. Now we're not going to implement search, but I'm just going to use that and set it up here. So um, the button we're going to set that to the relative panel dot right of align left with panel. True. And while I'm here, I should probably go ahead and just flush everything out here. This is going to be the hamburger button. And uh, let's go ahead and we know that we're going to use the uh, font family of Sago MDL2 assets. And uh, if we take a look in our little help file here, I know that uh, we're going to use that font, uh, that uh, character. And let's set the font size equal to 20. And I think we'll just go ahead and set the width and the height to 45. That should be sufficiently large. And I'm going to set the uh, the alignment of this item to the center and I'm also going to go ahead and create a click event for this guy we'll come back to that great all right so now the text block will be relative panel right of hamburger button great and um, I'm going to set the font size equal to 18 the font weight will be bold uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a name as well because we're going to need that. So title text block we're going to set it programmatically right. I think the only thing we'll need to do is probably give us some margin so I want it like 20 pixels from the left and uh, I know I'm going to probably want to set some some of it on the right as well or at least on the top. Alright the next up let's go to the auto suggest box and I'm going to give this just the name my auto suggest box. I probably should give it a different name than that, but I'm lazy right now. And we're going to set the query icon to find. Give us a little magnifying glass. 
and then the placeholder text we'll type in search now if you'd like to do this I would recommend that you go off and you build this functionality um, you should have the tools already to uh, to do that sort of thing so I want this uh, aligned on the right hand side and I'll set the width equal to uh, 200 and uh, I know we're going to need some margin as well so I'll just go ahead and take a stab at it zero on the left I know I'm going to need some on the top I'll come back to that one uh, let's just say 10 from the right and zero that should just that should, should do it okay so that's in the top row the next row let's add split view and we'll set the grid dot row equals one and I'm going to go ahead and give it a name as well because I know we're going to want to control it programmatically from the hamburger button, right? So my split view. And um, I'm going to set the display mode equals compact overlay. Oops. Go ahead and do that. And uh, let me go ahead and do this while I'm thinking about it. Content, great. All right, and um, let me come back here and finish this idea up. I know I'm going to need the open pane length. I'm going to set it to like 150 to start, see if that works well. And then I'm going to set the compact pain length to 45. I'm setting it to the same width as my as my hamburger button. Okay. Now we have a split view and inside that we're going to add the list box like I've been working with here. And I'm going to set the selection mode equal to single and I'm going to set the Selection changed equal to new event handler. This should be good. Okay, good. Inside of here, I'm going to need a few list box or at least two list box items. Um, and so the first one, I'm going to create a stack panel. And we've done this so many times already. Hopefully, this isn't foreign to you. So the orientation equals horizontal, and we'll use two text blocks, right? The first one will be the that uh, Segoe MBL2 asset, so font family. And I think I'm using font size 20 for those, for those assets. Uh, and I think, if memory serves me correctly, I put that in here as well. And yeah, we'll use that as the home. So we'll set the text equal to that. And uh, the second one, text block, we'll just have the text. Um, uh, so. Financial, set the font, uh, actually font size, equal to uh, 18. And I know I'm going to need some margin on the left, so I'll go ahead and just use 20 there. I'm also going to name this uh, the first item. And so that should pretty much wrap up that first list box item. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy the whole thing. And um, actually, let me copy the whole thing, list box item. There we go. And I'll replace this one. And I'm just going to replace this with uh, food. And this will be food. And then the icon should be the star, I believe. Right, that should take care of that. Now, inside of the content area, um, 
I know I'm going to have a grid view. Just trying to figure out what needs to happen inside of there. I know that I'm going to want, let me just try a grid view by itself and see where that takes us. I may have to come back and revisit this, but we'll start here. I'm going to give this the name news item grid and I'll set the uh, horizontal alignment equal to stretch that should take up the entire width of the available area uh, margin I'm gonna give me a little margin on the left hand side and um, I know I'm gonna need an item source property and I'm also gonna need to do things like the, the grid view dot template or I'm sorry item template and I have to do like a data template. We'll come back to that in an upcoming lesson. So I'll just get that kind of set up for now. Let me see uh, what this looks like just to get started here. Again, I want to emphasize that in these videos, I blow through writing this code because I've already done it once, it's fresh in my mind. I have some notes as well to help. Uh, if this were a real real application development effort I would probably take my time okay you can't see anything because we haven't wired up that uh, that button yet I tell you what let me go ahead and get that part working so I'm gonna go in the code behind for the main page .xaml here and in the hamburger button click event we'll go my split view dot is open as pane open uh, not equal to my split view dot is pane open all right let's go ahead and run it now whoops what don't you like oh sorry <laughs> that's what it should be sorry about that All right, there you go. All right, so we're off to a good start. Next up, we're going to work, I think, on the uh, on the data. I forget. I'll look at my notes. Uh, but that should at least complete the first setup steps in the general layout. Okay, so let's pick it up in the next lesson. Thanks.